Okay, we'll try this again. So as I start a problem, I'm kind of trying to figure out, is there a way that I can eliminate uh, a, one of the variables so that I can get down to two equations that each only have two variables? I can only solve for a variable if there's only one variable left in an equation. So what I'm going to try is maybe combining the first and third equations, then I'll try combining the second and third ones. And the reason I'm choosing those is because I notice this negative z, which should be pretty easy for me to multiply to get the z's to cancel. So for the first one, I'm going to try multiplying the top, I'm sorry, I'm going to multiply the bottom one by a 5. Because if I multiply the bottom one by 5, that will give me negative 25x plus 15y minus 5z equals, where's my calculator, 5 times 17, I'm sorry, 5 times negative 17 is negative 85. And if I, wait, yeah, my negative sign didn't write. There we go. So then if I bring down the top one exactly as I saw it, I think I'm really close to getting my z's to cancel, um, but probably I need to subtract the bottom one. So I'm just going to do that switching of the signs. I call that my super secret ninja move. Um, not very secret if I tell you about it, but I'm left with 27, negative 27x. What is that? Plus 11y. And my z's cancel. And I have negative 85 minus 18. Negative 103. Now I'm going to do the exact same thing. Maybe I'll switch colors so it's easier to see. Um, this time I'm going to try multiplying the bottom one by 2. Because I'm trying to get, again to get those z's to be the same. So I'll have negative 10x plus 6y minus 2z equals negative 30. And if I'm just going to bring that next one down, I have negative 3x plus 5y plus 2z equals negative uh, 27. And it looks like I can just add these ones, so that's great news. I get negative 13x plus 11y. That cancels. And negative 34 minus 27 or plus a negative 27 either way is going to be 60, negative 61. Again, the reason I knew to do the way to combine those the way I did was because I was trying to get one variable to cancel from, from all of those. So by combining in different ways, I've now ended up where I have two equations um, and neither one have a Z. And what's even better is it looks like I have 11's the same, so that's pretty cool. If I didn't, I would just multiply or use substitution or whatever to make it work. Okay, so now I'm just going to combine both of these here. Uh, it looks like they're both positives, so I need to subtract the bottom, which means switch all the bottom signs. And where does that put me? Negative 27 plus 13 is negative 14x, these cancel, and negative 103, I'm sorry, yeah, negative 103 plus 61 is going to be negative 42. Oh, this is looking much better. I know how to do this. It's just simple division at this point. So that cancels, and x equals 3. That was a lot of work just to get down for one variable. And we're not even done yet. Um, that was my x. My final answer is going to be x, y, and z. So just like you did before, you need to take that 3 and plug it back in. Um, the great news is, is pretty much any of these formulas you have on this page, you can plug it back into. So I'm going to take this 3, and I think I'm going to plug it back into right... Um, which one should we do? Maybe this one down here. So I have 13x 
minus 11y equals 61. Plugging in a 3 makes it look like this. And 13 times 3 is going to be 39. Next, I'm going to be oops, subtracting 39. which should give me 22. And I'm down to some nice, easy division, which makes me feel good. Um, so I'm going to get y equals negative 2. We're getting closer. Um, but I still need to solve for z. It doesn't look like I have any equations that have just a z and plus 1 variable. So I think what I'm going to do is go back. Um, maybe I'll go back to that middle formula. I kind of like that one. So let's... Let's write that original one down. Negative 3x plus 5y plus 2z equals negative 27. All right, so I know that x is 3 and y is negative 2. Oh, that was a funky writing there. Solving for z. All right, so negative 9 plus negative 10. I guess I should have just done minus 10, huh? Because negative 9 minus 10 is negative 19. Which means now I get to add 19 to both sides. Which is going to give me, what, negative 8? I get to divide by 2. I think z equals negative 4. Okay, but that's not good enough. We know that our final answer needs to be written at like a point, just like all of the sections we've done so far. So if my point has to be x, y, z, alphabetical order, a, b, c, l, m, n, whatever they give you, x is 3 y is negative 2, and z is negative 4, and that is my final, final answer. Um, it is going to be on delta math today, just so you know. Um, it is very, very few, few problems, because I know these take a long time. Just hopefully that makes you feel better. Come see me if you have questions. I know it's tough.